Bitcoin looks ready to explode, and all I keep hearing is, Oh, Kirby, it's gonna dump when back launches, Kirby. It's gonna dump when back launches. I want to explain this theory, because all around social media, that's all I keep hearing. Kirby, it's gonna dump. Kirby, this is the end. Does that have to play out like that? I want to really dive in here. Can it happen? Let's discuss. May it not happen? Let's discuss as well. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the action we're seeing inside the chart right now. For me, this is all about what's going to potentially happen when we break this range. And for me, it's no surprise here as we do continue to just move sideways. We're awaiting the launch of one of the most anticipated launches here inside the crypto space, and this is the physically backed Bitcoin futures contracts under the backed company releasing tentatively on September 23rd, 2019, which is this upcoming Monday. I believe the market is in a stalemate right now awaiting this release, so I'd like to discuss what do the technicals look like and what are my theories and hypotheses surrounding this tentative launch. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up, all right? So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, let's begin right here on the one-day time frame. It's very clear and evident to see that Bitcoin has been trading now in a very, very distinct range, really for the better part of a month. And what we're seeing right now is that the market is at a stalemate purely, in my opinion, because we're all awaiting for the launch and release of the backed futures contracts. Now, the reason that this is sparking so much anxiety for traders in the market right now is because we all should remember what happened back here in late December 2017 when the CME group launched their futures contracts, all right? Uh, and what wound up happening is essentially they, they launched the day after the very top of the entire Bitcoin bull run, okay? And what wound up happening is we saw that immense sell-off and a lot of people attribute the fact that the CME futures launching, uh, that is what ended the bull run. It is what it is. You can have your own opinions on that. For me now, that is what's causing this market to move sideways the way that it is. After months and months on end of extreme volatility up and down in a parabolic bull run, we're seeing for the first time the market's cooled off substantially. The volume has dropped and fell off a cliff substantially. And now for me, I'm awaiting this date, September 23rd, to await for now the volatility to pick back up. In my opinion, it's almost like the, the race is about to begin. All of the horses are at the gate, just ready to go, ready to go. And I, I, I'm presuming here and assuming that on the 23rd, it's going to be like the gate is open and it's off to the races. Let's get this crypto. So the question is, is what is this looking like in terms of how is it going to break? Well, my friends, you should all know by now if you're subscribed here, when I look at this, uh, especially on an inverted scale, the pattern that we're in right now does look very similar uh, to what we saw at the end of the bear market, which led to a parabolic bull run. Uh, and to me, this does look very similar right here, right now. Uh, if I, if it is going to break to the upside, I'm awaiting for a break of 11,000. That would be a confirmation for me of a double top resistance being broken through, which would allow me to speculate potentially further movement to the upside, just as we saw back here in the past. Of course, past performance is not indicative of future results, but history can look uh, similar at times, okay? So for me, that's what I'm looking for there in terms of a bullish breakout. In terms of a bearish breakout, let's 
uh, flip this back over. It's really a drop below this level here. Let's draw a rectangle. Uh, it's very simple for me right now, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin is in a very distinct range here. It's either going to break up out of this region or break down. Uh, this whole range for me here is really, uh, there's not much opportunity in here, okay? You see this, right? It's really what happens below this level, what happens above this level, because these are the two distinct support and resistance levels that have been forming now for over a month right? You see this. It's almost just a bunch of shenanigans in here with not much else going on until we get above or below this region. Let's get this crypto. So this brings me to my point here with backed because all the moon boys, degenerates and imbeciles across social media, they're so sure it's going to dump, right? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, don't you see Kirby? When the CME launched, we, we, we went down into the crypto abyss, Kirby, down into the crypto abyss. These traders right now, ladies and gentlemen, they're shaking. Ooh, they got their, their palms are climbing up. Ooh, Kirby. And right now, for me, I think that there may be too many people expecting a dump, okay? So let's, let's discuss this. Let's think like a market mover, okay? Let's think as somebody uh, in this market, a gigantic whale of a trader, all right? Not even a regular whale. I'm talking a gigantic whale that's looking to... Uh, make some potentially life-changing profit on this this date, okay? For me, uh, I think that these two levels are so distinct here, ladies and gentlemen, that we could be looking at an epic, epic wick in both directions. I really do. I feel like I feel like for some reason we're going to get either an epic move down and a complete retrace back up. Or on the contrary, an epic move up and then an epic retrace back down. I feel like we may even get both simultaneously. One up and then one down or on the contrary, one down and then one up. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to liquidate so many traders, uh, hit so many stop losses and take advantage of people's trading emotions inside this range because there's so many factors here that are playing against those that are, are trading in here, right? The fact is they're anxious. They're awaiting a breakout. Uh, you know, they can't wait any longer. They feel like in the crypto world that this has been forever and a day in here and they don't want to wait anymore. And I think that this is the perfect opportunity uh, for those that are moving the market to really take advantage of emotions here because, you know, average Joe and James at the water cooler, as soon as this breaks down, it may appear, I got to go short, Kirby. It's going back to a thousand. Or if it rips up, I told you, Kirby, we we're going to all time highs. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and I think that the camps being split into two so, uh, you know, matter of factly here, I do think that we might just get a liquidation up, a liquidation hunt up, a liquidation hunt down in no particular order, and then maybe just stagnate again here in this range for a little bit before really uh, getting a move. And the reason that I'm saying this is because I want you to take a look here at the Google trend data, okay? We did now, it closed, the data finally closed. Uh, if you are subscribed here, you would know I've been waiting for this data to close. And what I mean by that is the September 8th to September 14th data here, we closed at a 9. All right, and this is the first lower low in the trend. All since the parabolic breakout of the bear market, Bitcoin has been on a higher high and higher low trajectory here. Uh, this is textbook bullish, higher highs and higher lows. Now, ever since our blow off top there around 14,000 on June 26th, uh, we've been on a lower low trajectory. This is all a swing low, right? We have not had another swing high. We are still currently tentatively swinging low right now, but last week's close closed at a 9. Our last prior swing low closed at an 11. We now officially have a lower low on the Google trend data for the past five years. Uh, this is structurally a change for me, ladies and gentlemen, and the fact of the matter is here is that I don't believe much new capital is entering the market right now. To me, it just appears that, that this is just stagnant capital in here. And if this is stagnant capital, if the price rips up, does that mean that it's actually bullish? Or does this mean that uh, this is just going to be a short-lived liquidation hunt, uh, maybe get some 
novice traders to FOMO in real quick and then then dump the market. You see what I'm saying, right? And I don't want this to sound like uh, some hocus pocus. Oh, Kirby's saying, oh, there's manipulation and and this is not. I'm just being realistic with you here. If there's no new capital entering on mass scale, which is also evident here. Let's look at the, the total market cap, okay? I want you to understand here, if we go on the three-month time frame, just look, ladies and gentlemen, we're really, uh, in terms of uh, capital here, we've been stagnating around the same average level uh, for two months straight now, okay? So this whole sideways equilibrium here has essentially been chalked up by the same capital sloshing back and forth. And actually, right, let's go back and look at the exact date here, okay? On July 17th, or July 16th, we were at 256 million, uh, or excuse me, 256 billion, okay? And that was right around here, okay? And what's happened really since this point in the trend here, right? We've really had a pump, a dump, and sideways action. No new sustainable rallies, nothing. It's just been really a pump up, a dump, and then sideways action. But before this, look at what all was happening here. Uh, let's go to a year now, okay, so we can get a, a real idea here. All this way up, look, all new capital entering the market. Then all capital exiting the market, causing this extreme fluctuation here, right, which was also extremely beautiful for trading, right? Uh, and then all of a sudden we're flatlining. So for me, it's going to be very difficult for Bitcoin to have any sustainable action here, uh, potentially in either direction. Uh, because the the other theory here is, if if people haven't sold yet, are they going to sell down here? Well, that is yet to be seen. I would expect a ton of stop losses to be below that nine thousand dollar level, just because we have that futures gap on the CME chart, right, that has uh, yet to be filled at 8,500. It does not have to fill, but it could fill, right? It, a lot of them have filled in the past, okay? Past performance is not indicative of future results, but historically, that has been a metric that has, that has had some credit to it. That could be looking to fill. And if that does, in fact, occur, may we just then get a swift uh, and quick movement back up into the vicinity of which we once came, right? So for me right now, uh, I'm trying to explain my theory here as best as possible for you, right? Uh, and for me, I'm seeing that this here, this backed futures launch date, has more potential in my opinion here to just wind up being a market maker's field day or a market mover's field day in the sense that if there's no new capital really, there's no new interest really that we're seeing in terms of the Google trend data and what we're, we can see here from the data in the total market cap, uh, what is there really to do besides to cause maximum pain to those that are still within the market? Uh, so for right now, guys, my strategy, I'm looking to get very, very aggressive on probably some quick trades here in and out. Uh, if we get a large move to the upside, I'll probably be going long and wind up using a, a tight trailing stop loss strategy so that I do not get hurt on the way down, right? And on the contrary, if we do get that swift movement down, I'm going to likely short and use a tight stop loss on the way down as well. Uh, for me, this is all about breakout plays right now. And I've been telling you guys that this is the strategy that I've been trying to employ here. And I've been looking for the large movement, right? Uh, and I'm being very tight with my stop losses. Here's my uh, most recent trade that I that I tried to catch this breakout on if this was going to be that final plunge down towards 8,500. I wound up taking a short at 98.50 USD. Uh, it, you could see here, this is my VIP alert. Shout out to my VIPs. Uh, I went short at 98.50. My position was opened. I then set a stop loss, break even, 98.50. The price moved down below my entry. I was in profit. I moved my stop loss right to break even right away. Uh, and then I got stopped out for no loss and no gain. Because right now, I'm not really interested in being in a high risk situation here, as I do feel it's 50-50 in either direction with no new capital entering the market and no new, uh, tentatively, no new speculative market participants per the Google trend data that I that I can use to the best of my ability to gauge interest in the space, right? So for me right now, you could see, why did I take that trade there? Well, we dropped 
out of the equilibrium, okay, and we drop below our prior low, okay? This was a double confirmation for me here. One, this confirmation below the equilibrium, and two, below there right there, okay? And my friends, the RSI here as well, as we could see, is still on a higher, excuse me, on a lower high trajectory, still inherently bearish, also with lower lows. Let's get this crypto. I took a shot. I, I thought maybe this could be the spot where the trend does decide to break down uh, before that launch date on the 23rd, but it didn't. It barred right back up. I got out for no loss and no gain. But you can see this is the type of trading I'm talking about here, uh, where I'm looking to play a breakout quickly uh, if the move is going to occur. Uh, and this is the type of stuff that I keep you updated with in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I posted my trades like this for my VIPs in real time. Uh, right now, as I stated, I'm looking to get on the coattails of these moves here, but play them with as high reward potential as possible and as low risk as possible, okay? I think the time here is going to get very turbulent. Uh, and I do believe that many beginner traders are going to get absolutely wrecked here because uh, they're not going to properly assess the amount of risk that's going to come with the move that breaks out of this range. Uh, and for me right now, risk and reward is all I'm focusing on here right now uh, because like I stated, I believe when back launches here, that we may start to see some epic, epic market movements. And not because of these contracts. It's just because the players that are moving the market understand the the degenerate mentality of these beginner traders that are just going to play this purely off emotion. No risk reward ratio, no technical analysis. They just see it's up. Oh, I told you, Kirby, I'm all in, I'm all in. And then they get slammed and wrecked. And on the contrary, if it moves down, see Kirby, it's happening again. And they essentially, I believe they're just going to wreck FOMOers. Uh, and right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is also looking to take advantage of this opportunity with the way that I believe that the largest players in the game are looking to take advantage of this opportunity. Let's get this crypto. And I'm going to keep you all updated with my strategies, ladies and gentlemen, in real time, my trades in real time for you in VIP. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm strategizing. I'm plotting because I see that the countdown is ticking, ladies and gentlemen. Tick, tick, tick. I believe at any moment here, could be hours, days, or minutes, that we are likely going to see a heinous move up or down and potentially followed by another move just in the opposite direction. I'm looking to ride the coattails here, ladies and gentlemen, of these potentially life-changing trading opportunities. And you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. The thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is that you see, I think that I've broke this down for you to the best of my ability here, right? Looking at that historic data. Oh, I, I brought this up too, guys. The CME group is, is going to be launching Bitcoin options in early 2020. Uh, per this article here, it says... Uh, that they are looking to launch these. This could also provide more volatility going into the future. I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, but for me right now, the thing is, is that this range just looks so prime to me uh, to be a spot where we're going to see epic volatility. Uh, and I, I do understand that many are going to take the trip to Rec City here. So for me... Uh, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can dine like the Don, or you can eat sardines. With <laughs> you can eat sardines on the side of the road with crap coin Clancy. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is that uh, this, to me, right now is is the area where the sheep are going to get sheared and the savages are going to prevail. That's just how I see it. Uh, and you're entitled to your own opinions, right? For me, this is just how I see it. The degenerates, oh, Kirby, so it's up or if it's down. If that, if that's all you've taken from this video is that it can go up or it can go down, uh, please, you don't need to watch these analyses anymore because if that's all you've retained, my friend, uh, I wish you the best of luck in, in life and all of your future <laughs> endeavors because uh, that is not uh, anything that I just stated in this video, there's way more to it than up or down. I've, I think I've explained why I believe we might get movements in both directions the best that I can.
uh, and that's purely because I believe they're going to play the emotions here on both ends of the spectrum. There's an overly bearish bias by some and an overly bullish bias by some right now, and I think they're going to toy with the emotions of both. And me understanding that this is a potential uh, possibility here, I'm looking to play that game with them as well. Let's get this crypto. So uh, with this all being stated, ladies and gentlemen, what I have to ask you here today is, is are you going to dine like the Don or are you going to eat sardines on the side of the road with crap coin Clancy? It's as simple as that. Many are going to get caught like a deer in the headlights. Uh, I hope that is not you here. I am not strategizing for that to be me. Uh, I'm looking to tentatively crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And I'm going to keep you updated with my trades all along the way in VIP. Like I stated, this is the type of breakout plays I'm looking for right now. You could see I took an incredibly high reward, low risk trade here. That trade for me, sure, it broke even, right? And again, the losing degenerate traders, Kirby, you're showing a trade that broke even. Why? Just stop crying, little degenerate, Daniel the degenerate. Stop crying and understand here that because let's put on a risk to reward ratio here, Stunad, all right? I took my position right here. Okay, I wound up putting my stop loss right, right above the entry, right? Uh, it actually was break even exactly. Uh, and my target zone was a potential gap fill, my friend, on that CME chart. And that is, look at that. It's a 17, 17 to 1, ladies and gentlemen, risk reward ratio. Get out of here, Stu Nod. You see what I'm saying? But most people, they don't even know what that is. Risk reward, Kirby, what do you mean? <sighs> But that is why the market is so profitable, right? You see, you understand here, right, ladies and gentlemen? That is why there are some that crush this market and there are some that get crushed. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, when these moon boys tune into this stream, when they tune into the house that Don Don Carbonaccio built, they can either like it or they don't like it. But either way, they better learn to love it because this stream right here is the best thing going inside the cryptocurrency space today. Let's get this crypto. Diamonds are forever, and so is Don Don Carbonaccio. Sheesh. So, being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with all things considered here, are you going to be the one that gets caught like a deer in the headlights, or are you going to be the one that crushes this market and gets this crypto? Personally, I'm strategizing right now to crush this market, and I'm going to be keeping you up to date in absolute real time, my friend. Uh, if, if you're not already in VIP, the time is ticking here before this move, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be posting all of my strategies, my entries, my exits, my take profits, everything in real time. So I will see you in VIP as I'm making my trades. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to crush this market. Are you? Let's get this crypto. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to trade this thing aggressively. Let me know what you think about this theory down below. Uh, like I said, it's just pure speculation. Uh, all I know is that I'm awaiting for a large move here, uh, and I do believe there could be multiple fake outs here. Just an analysis that I'm, I'm seeing and how I feel about this market right now. Let's get this crypto. Uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Really, let me know with a comment down below. What's your theory? What do you think about my theory of the double fake out potential? And uh, like I said, when this occurs, I'm looking to strategize to crush it to the best of my ability here. Uh, I think that there could be some potentially life-changing trading opportunity, and I am personally not looking to squander it. I am looking to crush it and take advantage of this move to the best of my ability. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you all in VIP. I'm going to keep you updated with my trades, my strategies, my entries, my exits, my take profits, everything in VIP. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the Don has has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.